Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Data analyst has been one of the hottest careers out there. It gets a lot of attention from content creators, course creators, and everybody who is interested in starting a career in tech. However, the problem is that you only get to see the glamorous side of being a data analyst. So I am dedicating this video to talk about the unglamorous side, the harsh reality of being a data analyst. So anybody who is considering a career in data analytics can make a well-rounded decision. I have been in the industry for over 10 years across various data science roles, including data engineering, data scientists, data analytics. So I have seen it all, well, for the most part. There are three points that I'll be covering in this video. By no means this video is to bash the data analytics job family. It is primarily created to shed light on some of the difficult things that data analysts have to deal with once they start a career as a data analyst. So what are those harsh realities of data analysts? Well, let's start with number one. Data analyst is not a tech role. Well, you must be wondering why that is the case because as a data analyst, you have to learn SQL and Python and some other coding language in some cases. So so why is this not considered a tech role? The problem is, and this is something that I learned after starting a career, is that in the system at these companies, data analyst is not considered a tech role. Thus, the salary is not reflective of a tech role salary, which means that your pay will be lower than tech roles in general. And those tech roles could be data engineer, data scientist, software engineer. And some of you might be like, this is unfair, but this is actually the reality. However, you're not gonna find this out until you actually start working and you start realizing that this is how it is labeled in the system. Now this this information I wish like more people knew about it before they jumping into the data analyst field. And to be honest I find it a little bit unfair because no other non-tech role requires that you know coding especially this much. As a data analyst you get to spend a lot of your time writing SQL sometimes Python so why not consider it as a technical role and pay accordingly. I'm not sure why exactly it is the case maybe because it's SQL and a lot of people see, don't consider SQL as a coding language. I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about SQL being a coding language and data analyst not being a data analyst on the tech career letter? But that's the reality. The second reason, and this is going to actually sound odd because it's actually a good thing, but there are consequences. Data analyst is one of those careers where you actually don't need to go to school. You can just take online courses. You can actually just watch YouTube videos and become a data analyst. There are so much content out there on SQL, Python, Excel. That internet is filled with data analyst curriculum and data analyst tutorials and that is teaching you how to become a data analyst. The barrier to entry is very low. Including myself, I have shared several roadmaps. Honestly, maybe I'm biased, but it's not that hard to become a data analyst. It's not that difficult to learn Excel, SQL, some other reporting tool and become a data analyst. Even the people who are not data analysts will learn these tools and start calling themselves data analysts. Anyone and everyone can be a data analyst if they want to. Now, this results in a problem that there is a surplus of data analysts in the market, especially at the entry level, which means that your job search process, especially as an entry level data analyst, is going to be very, very competitive. You have to be top of the top. I don't know if that's even a thing. <laughs> top of the top to be able to stand out in your job search process as a data analyst. Now, this I'm talking about somebody who is just new to the industry. I don't know, like maybe some of you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but as far as I have seen is that entry-level data analyst is one of the hardest job to get your foot in the door. There's so much competition because there is a lot of people who are becoming data analysts. You have to be top tier to land a job as a data analyst especially in today's market. Now, this is something that you don't learn when somebody's selling you their course to become a data analyst or somebody's telling you the roadmap to become a data analyst. Even I have excluded this information, not on purpose, but this is actually the reality and you should be aware of it. Well, on the topic of data analyst skills and coding, I wanted to share this Intro to Python ebook, which is a beginner guide for learning Python for data analysis and focuses on libraries such as Panda and NumPy and more. This ebook is created by HubSpot, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The ebook covers libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, which are essential libraries for data analysis. This could be super handy if you are just starting out with Python and planning to use it for data analysis. It walks you through basic ideas, gives you coding snippets that you can plug and play. I'm linking the ebook in the description below. Feel free to download it. Now let's talk about the third harsh reality of being a data analyst. The third reason may or may not be a surprise to you, but it is definitely a surprise for people after 
they start working as a data analyst. And after a while, they realize that a lot of people end up leaving the data analyst career ladder. There are a few reasons why. A large chunk of people see data analysts as a transition career path. They see it as an entry point to become something to transition to something else later, such as product manager, data scientist, data engineer, or something else. There is nothing wrong with transitioning into a different career. Even for people who use data analyst as a transition career, there is nothing wrong with it. The problem is that people who are picking the data analyst career path as their long-term career path is going to end up seeing a lot of people besides them leave the job family, transition out to different job families. And this is very, very demotivating. As somebody who has seen a lot of the data scientists transition out to different job families, I can tell you this is pretty demotivating. Yes, there are a lot of people who transition out of the data scientist job family, but even a larger amount transition out from the data analyst job family. A lot of the data analysts cap at senior data analysts. You will rarely see people who are principal data analysts or staff data analysts. You won't come across those people many times because the chances are that you will be peaking at a senior data analyst level and might have to transition out, whether because of your personal reasons or because there is no career growth beyond that. All right, my last, my bonus reason, which is not, honestly, it's going to sound really petty, but I'm going to say it anyway because that's how people see it. Among the data science job family, data analyst job family is considered less prestigious than data scientist and data engineer. I feel horrible saying this, but <laughs> this is the reality and you might have some people look down upon you. Actually, those people might be data scientists and data engineers. So just leaving it out here and then <laughs> we're not talking about this before. <laughs> Despite all the negatives, data analyst is a great career to be in, especially if this is something that you enjoy doing. There is nothing better than doing something that you're passionate about. Every job family has some negatives and some, some positives. These are some of the negatives that I have noticed for the data analyst job letter, and I wanted to create a video and share it with you all. And if you're interested in becoming a data analyst, you can watch this video next. I would love to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on this topic? What are some harsh realities as a data analyst that you have seen in your career, whether that is through job search or while you are working in, as a data analyst? Let me know in comments. And with that, have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you in another video. Have a good one, bye.